Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to be drawing Suga from BTS Tiny Tan. So let's get started. To draw cute Suga, let's first start by drawing his face. So I'm going to come right here and draw basically a bottom of a U. But because they're Tiny Tan, it's going to be really wide. So I'm going to come right across, say about right here. And I'll go ahead and draw another curve and connect it at the bottom. There, so you have your basic bottom view, nice and wide. And then from there, let's start to draw his eyes. So in this area right here, I'll say about in this, uh, say about right here, I'll go ahead and give myself a point. It's kind of like in this area. And I'm going to draw a curve down. A slight curve comes across, and it's gonna start to slope down right to the edge. And then from there, we're going to come right to where we stopped and just draw a little curve down. So Suga's eyes are a little bit slanted downward, so that's why we're creating this curve down. So let's come right across, about the same area, like right here. So I'll say to center it about right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Draw a curve. Oops. You can always come back and adjust it. And I'm just going to drag this point across just so I kind of make sure I know where I'm going on the other side. And come right down, just like the other side. And then right here, just draw a small curve again. Okay, so now that we have that framed in, but let's come in here and we're going to draw kind of like an oval. So about right here, I'll go ahead and draw an oval. And just imagine it's coming down, so we're going to stop about right here. And then at the bottom right here, we're just going to draw a curve right underneath just to anchor it. So same thing here. So once again, just like the other side. And about right here. And draw a curve right underneath to anchor it. Okay, so now then we have that, let's come in here and I'm going to draw a highlight right here. One circle and another circle right here. If you have those white out pens for, uh, to create this highlight, you don't need to do that. You just need to draw the center part right here. So we're just creating this bigger oval and you can just shade this all in so you can see it a little bit better. And then let's do the same thing here. So, circle for a highlight, and come in here and draw an oval. And shade it all in. There. And then once you get to shade, uh, color this part in, whatever eye color, then it makes a lot more sense. <laughs> okay, so now that everything is done, I'm just going to come back in here really quickly and thicken this top line up. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing here with this line. There. Okay, so then from there, let's draw his smile. So right in the center, say about right here, I'll go ahead. Now let's just draw a slight curve going up and cap it off. There. And then let's come, let's see here. Uh, let's Now that we're done with his eyes, I'm going to soften this part up a little bit, sorry. I feel like it was too sharp. Okay, now let's come back uh, in this area. We're going to draw his ears. So kind of like where his eyes are, I'll come about right here and pop out a curve for ear. We're going to come in here for some details, two curves. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So where the eyes are. And same thing, two curves. Then from there, we're going to start to draw his hair. So I'm going to come up pretty high. So I come to the center, uh, bandana hair. So let's say about right here. I'll just give myself a point. I'll just start from there, nice and high up. 
and I'm going to bring this curve down, come up, and then come all the way back down to where you started with this curve for the face. And let's do the same thing on this side. A little bit thinner on this side, and then we're going to come down. And let's see here, come all the way down. Draw a curve. Then from there, we're going to draw a band right across the curve for his headband and right here. And then let's not forget his brows. So right above his eyes, so we're right here. We'll just go ahead and draw a curve. And same thing on this side. There. So now that I'm looking at my eyes, I think this side is way too out, right? So I'm just going to come in here really quickly and fix that. This line was popping out way too much. There, hopefully that's much better. <laughs> I'll bring this one out a little bit more. So you definitely have to come back in and adjust. Okay, so then from there, let's bring this, come to the back to where you started right here. And we're just going to bring up a curve, just slightly curves up. And then from about right here, I'll go ahead and come up on this side and then up on that side. So let's bring this down all the way. And about right here, I'll curve it in a little bit because we want some volume here. And I'll come out. You put in a zigzag and then uh, another one maybe and connect it there and then in this area whatever you have left just draw a curve to finish it up so same thing over here come out and give it a little strand on this side come out and then we're going to bring it in curve we just want to bring it back to here so you can add maybe another strand and then connect. And then once again, whatever space you have left, just finish it up right there. Okay, so maybe this side is a little bit, I'll pop it out a little bit more compared to that side up, size out a lot more. Okay, so I think that's a little bit better. Now that I've adjusted it a little bit, let's come back in here for some details. Uh, let's say right here, I'll just go ahead and just draw an indication of a strand. Or you can do that when you're coloring, so it's not so harsh. But I just wanted to show you right there, and then maybe some here for parting lines for the hair. And then on his bandana, you can um, draw this pattern. It's kind of this swirly thing that goes on. But I wanted to put hearts, but okay, I'll just do this. <laughs> So you can put whatever you want, <laughs> something like that. Okay, so then now that's all done, let's finally um, draw his body. Oh, I almost forgot the ends of his bandana. So right here, I'm going to pop out this little curve and then just tuck it right in. Okay, so then now we can draw his body. Let's come about right here. We're going to center it and I'm just going to draw a slight curve down. Just a little slope down. Oh, about that much. And so his armpits are about right here. Nice and low because he's wearing a jacket. And I'll draw an angle line out. From there, I'm going to come back into the center. And right here, we're going to draw his jacket. So two curves that come out. And then let's draw a curve right here for the inside for his shirt. And then another curve right here for his jacket collar for some detail. And then let's bring this down. 
so then we have this let's bring this down a little bit more and about right here i'll curve it in i'll work on this side first and i'll connect first jacket and then the part that kind of pops out right here at the ends another layer so it's the same thing here curve out connect and then the bottom part and connect and then let's bring this down a little bit more we draw the inside of a shirt the inside shirt so right here come out again and we're going to go even lower so about right there i'll go ahead and give a little wobble towards the center for the inside of a shirt and then come right back down in the center we're just going to draw a slight angle line from there bring out two curves so we're starting his pants let's come in and let's start uh, to draw his pants so let's come down and we're just going to come in a little bit and then come out in and then out and about right here i'll go ahead and connect it at the bottom with a slight wobble so same thing here Now for his shoes, we're just going to pop them out right here. Tiny little shoes, a little curve, and a curve, and connect. So same thing here. There, tiny little feet. <laughs> and then for some details on um, his pants right here, we're going to draw three stripes. I'll just go ahead and shade this all in since it's black. Okay, so then from there we can finally draw his arms. So I'll come by right here and connect this. And here, I'll just go ahead and connect it. And for his arms, let's work on this side. So I'm bringing it down, and about right here, I'm going to kind of curve it up, kind of like under his ear. And then right here, I'll draw a curve, and then connect it with a curve right back to where his armpits are. Now for his hands, he's making these uh, kind of like, um, oh my gosh, what do you call that? Just the thumb and the. Uh, pinky sticks out. So right here, we're going to draw a pinky. In between the pinky, we're going to go curve and then bring it right back down. And then right here, we're going to stick out a thumb. Like a hang loose there. <laughs> Lost for words. And then right here, you just go ahead and draw a small little curve. So hopefully that wasn't too complicated. So it's the same thing over here. So let's try and bring down a curve. Oh, I almost forgot. Just a little indication of the sleeve right there. So let's do the same thing right under his ear. We're going to go, we're going to curve up for our pinky and then a curve over. And I forgot, let's come back, back right here and draw a curve for the sleeve so we know where we're going. And right here where his armpits were, so let's connect right back and connect this part right here. And then his thumb, just pop it out. And a little line right here. There. Okay, and then so for some details on his jacket, we can put a little rectangle here at an angle for his pockets. Same thing here. 
and um, I think that's pretty much it except of course I have to add a heart so I'll do it right here and now this is my BTS Draw so cute BTS sugar from ti Tiny Tan. <laughs> so I really hope I made this fun and easy for you to follow along with me to draw sugar here. Just like all the other Tiny Tans I've drawn so far. And thank you cuties for helping me vote that you wanted me to draw sugar as well. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. So you won't miss any new Draw so cute videos. See you later.